Well, hello everyone. I have a quick question for you. What do you think is going to be more powerful than being able to express yourself, share your voice, your thoughts and understandings by recording a Flipgrid video response? Well, what if I told you you could use a built-in screen recorder tool in order to capture your digital creations and showcase your learning? That's right, the Flipgrid Recorder now has a built-in screen recording tool, and this is a game changer for our students and teachers alike. From the student perspective, students can showcase their learning. They can actually flip their screen in order to walk teachers through their digital creations, including PowerPoint presentations, sways, maybe they've built a website in Google Sites or a graphic organizer in Google Drawings the students can actually take control of their screen in order to showcase their learning and demonstrate their understanding in a clear way. Teachers, this screen recording tool gives you the power to guide students through interactive lessons by flipping your screen and walking students through websites or instructions for creating those digital presentations. You also have the ability to create guided digital tutorials for digital tools for your students and your colleagues alike, right inside of Flipgrid. All right, so let's take a closer look at how we use the screen recorder feature inside the Flipgrid recorder. So I've gone ahead and launched the Flipgrid recorder inside a topic in order to record a video response. And I'm simply going to come down to the three dots here next to the record button. These are the video options. And I can see at the top of the list, the screen recorder tool. If I click on the screen recording, I get this lovely instruction page that says to capture your screen, simply click start screen recording. This is gonna allow me to select which screen I'd like to capture. In this case, I'm gonna capture screen three and I'm simply going to click share. It's gonna count me down and I can now minimize the screen or I could always go, let's say, to showcase my work as a student. I've got a PowerPoint presentation here about understanding my worldview, and I could walk my teacher through this PowerPoint and give my presentation right through Flipgrid. Or I could go to Teams, and as a teacher, I could walk my colleagues through how to create a scheduled Teams meeting inside the Teams app. I could simply come down to calendar, click on the drop down for schedule meeting, and then walk my teachers through all the steps that they have to do in order to generate that link for their Teams meeting. All right, to stop the screen recording process, there should be a button near the bottom of your screen that says stop sharing. I'm going to click that and I simply return to Flipgrid and I can see a preview of my screen recording. Notice that I can select this as a clip and I can always trim this clip to where I want it. And once I've finished trimming, I can then click confirm to preview uh -huh. the clip again. Click, I can either click next in order to proceed towards submitting the video, or I could always click add more and then return to the Flipgrid recorder, seeing my face and sharing my voice. So it's as simple as clicking the three dots or the video options in order to start using the screen recording tool built right inside the Flipgrid recorder.